Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you for joining me in my video today, which is my April plans stroke uh, sew April blouse <laughs> challenge. Um, and the reason why I kind of say that is because um, in April, um, I'm actually going away on holiday for um, a couple of weeks, so I'm not going to get a massive amount of time for sewing. Um, so my only plan that I plan to do in April is to make a blouse for the Sew April Blouse Challenge. Now, if you don't know what Sew April Blouse is, then um, it is a challenge run by the lovely Ruan, who is the Yorkshire Sew Girl um, over on YouTube and Instagram, and Gabrielle from The Cloth Edit, um, who has a fabric shop, um, and she's all the way over in Australia. Uh, so if you check out their Instagram, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see um, obviously all what it's about. But in a nutshell, all you need to do is make a blouse in April, share it over on Instagram using the hashtag so April blouse, uh, tag in Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl and uh, Gabrielle, uh, the cloth edit. Um, and you're in with a chance of winning a prize. Um, there's no sort of deadline on it. You just have to post it up at some point in April. So it can be at the beginning, it can be at the end or anywhere in between. <laughs> so I plan on posting mine hopefully about sort of mid-April because I say that's when I'm going to be going away on holiday. So I have got um, about a week and a bit to be able to sew up a blouse. So that is my plan, is I'm going to make a blouse. So I thought this video I could just share a little bit of uh, my inspiration as to what blouse I may make because there's three blouses that I would like to make. Um, I can only really make one, obviously, in April because uh, for the time. But um, I've got three blouses, um, patterns and three fabrics. So I thought maybe you could help me decide on what I should do. Um, I haven't, say, fully decided on it yet. Um, I mean, by the time this video goes out, I may have already started one. I don't know. Um, but I just thought it'd be a nice little video to kind of share with you my ideas. And maybe if you're wanting to take part in the challenge as well, to maybe give you a couple of ideas. So um, before I get started on those, I'll just let you know what I'm wearing in case you're wondering. This is um, a Molly T um, from the Sew Over It ebook, City Break. Um, and yeah, it's just a t-shirt that I've kind of extended to like a sort of tunic length. It's kind of like a long one so I can wear it sort of over leggings and it's nice and comfortable. Okay, so let's get started with um, so the three blouse patterns that I'd like to make. My first one being, what have I done with it? It's hidden under things. <laughs> um, it is a big four pattern. It is the new look 6434. Now, you may recognise this pattern because I did make um, this top already. I made this version here, which was this uh, sleeveless um, version with the little ruffle. But the version that I would like to make next is this one that the model is wearing. So this one uh, is a view D. So it is a um, sort of... Uh, Called like a bell sleeve, flutter sleeve. Um, it's basically got the sleeve piece that goes on and then you add this extra sort of flounce bit on the sleeve. And I just really like the way that it looks. So, so I've done this version, but I would like to do this one next. And going through my fabrics, there was a fabric that I actually initially bought for this pattern because I bought this pattern and um, then fabric came next. And it was this. Um, I've got a feeling, I'm really bad at remembering where I've got some fabric sometimes, but I'm sure that I picked this up from, I want to say Beyond the Pink Door, I think it was. It's a viscose that has this beautiful lace um, detail at the bottom. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love these purples um, and greens and blues. Oh, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So my plan is, as you can probably gather, <laughs> is at the bottom of um, the hem here or these sleeves, I would like to use this lace detail. Now, I've got one and a half metres of this, so I'm going to have to try and work out what I can do. I may have to pick either the bottom of the top or the sleeves. If I can only do one, I think that it would look nicer to have that detail on the sleeves, I think, because I just think that would be really pretty, is just having that 
I can get an end woof, wrapped around and I'm not doing a very good job of this at all. <laughs> but um, using that and having that as the sort of like the fluttery bit, I think would just look really, really pretty. So that is my intention for that. Um, as I say, I've got a metre and a half, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. And the lace is only on one side um, of the selvage. So yeah, I think it may have to be that I just pick um, to do the sleeves, I think on there. But yeah, I think that's a really nice um, fabric and pattern sort of combo. So let me know what you think, if that's the one you think I should make. I think it would be really nice having that sort of lace detail. Kind of, I haven't really got anything with that sort of detail in my wardrobe, so I think that would be a really nice option. Uh, my next option is that um, I have had this pattern in my pattern stash for absolutely ages. I haven't made it up yet. Um, so many people have made it, um, and it is the Fibre Mood Norma blouse. And I know a few years ago this took Instagram by storm, and it was everywhere. Um, it's a really nice, simple shaped bodice um, with uh, buttons down the front. Um, but what's really nice is it's got this nice sort of gentle sort of puff sleeve um, that's sort of gathered in. Um, and I just really love the look of it. Uh, as soon as I saw it kind of going on the rounds on Instagram, I downloaded the pattern because I thought it was beautiful. And I haven't had a chance to make it up. And I do think it is one that I would get a lot of wear out of, especially, I think, for work and everything. I think it'd be lovely to wear for work. Um, so I was going through my fabrics to kind of see, oh, what could I make for that? And um, I came across this fabric. And I don't know if I've actually shown you this fabric. It's this one. I mean, it's sort of very similar to <laughs> kind of what I'm wearing. Um, it's a navy background with these flowers on and I picked this up from Flamingo Fabrics when they're having like their sort of closing down sale and they were obviously had all of their fabrics on sale and this is a really nice viscose and um, I think I've got on here I think I've got two meters I think I picked up of this and I thought this would be lovely for the normal blouse um I just think it would be really nice with those those sleeves because it's a little bit ditzy I, I do like a ditzy print um I thought it'd be really nice and then I could pick out one of the colors maybe to um put the buttons down like get, get some sort of mustard color buttons or some pink buttons or some red buttons I mean you could just pick out almost anything on that couldn't you um not sure I'd go sort of navy or white. I think I feel like I want like a colour. I think I think a um I think a mustard button I think actually would be really pretty. Um and yeah, it's a really nice viscose fabric, really nice and soft. So I thought it'd be perfect for those puffy sleeves because I don't want anything that holds its shape too much. I don't particularly want like a cotton or anything because I am coming around to the idea of the puffy sleeves. Um I've made a couple of things now with uh, with puffy sleeves, but I do like the soft um sort of viscose sort of puffy sleeve I do like that so I thought that would be a really nice one too a really nice fabric nice and bright so uh, yeah that potentially could be the normal blouse and then my third um idea is I have wanted to make the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie uh for a while now now when it first came out I must admit I was going nope not me at all, not interested, completely overlook it. And then I start seeing versions coming up on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, actually, that is quite nice. Um, <laughs> and I think it was that really sold it to me is if you have seen the gorgeous Angela from Devon Thread Tales over on uh, YouTube and Instagram, she made one and she made just the really plain version and I just fell in love with it. And I was like, yep, yeah, I want to make that. <laughs> because a lot of the versions I'd seen had got like the um, like the, the pleats that you kind of sew down on the front and on the sleeve. And they look amazing. But for me, I just find that that detail is maybe a little bit too much for me. I just, it, it's not 100%. But I hadn't seen many versions that didn't have that. And that were just really plain without the frill at the top. Um... But when I saw Angela's, I just completely sold me. And I was like, yeah, I 
want to make that. Um, I think it is reasonably fabric hungry. I think it takes about two, two and a half meters, I think. Um, and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to make the blouse or the dress, but I thought the blouse would be a really good one to start off with because it is a little bit oversized and it's got like that sort of slightly poofy sleeve. Um, so I thought if I do a blouse and then if I really like it, then in the future I could make a dress. So the fabric that I picked for that is you may have seen this from my uh, fabric haul that I did the other day um, it is this <laughs> it is a viscose fabric with all these bunnies on and um, I got this from Simple Life Fabrics when they had a sale on um, and it's just I mean it's adorable with all the little rabbits on I think it's so sweet and uh, so I keep saying to my my husband anytime I get anything bunny it's very on brand <laughs> <laughs> I'll see me being the sewing bunny um so yes that uh one I just thought would be lovely for the Marnie because I say it's quite nice and oversized but I just think it's really fun having this little sort of bunny print and if I'm going to use a really fun fabric then I think I'm just going to enjoy the process even more and I have really wanted to make that um blouse for a long time so um yeah Think this one is a strong contender I mean they're all strong contenders I really like them all so yeah please do let me know which one you think I should make um, so yes yeah, so it's either the bunny fabric for the Marnie blouse the uh, floral fabric for um, the fiber mood Norma or the embroidered lace uh, purple fabric for the new look pattern let me know what you think oh I'm so excited actually so it's quite nice that I've literally got one plan for April um and it's going to be a blouse I love blouses I wear blouses all the time so yeah can't wait and uh, yes I can't see what uh, I can't wait to see what everyone else makes for the challenge so uh, yes I'll be looking out under the hashtag let me know if you're taking part I'd love to know <laughs> okay well take care everybody and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video bye